Hey, what's up you guys? I'm here with Ryan, and today we're going to be reacting to some old videos. Now, back in the day, most of the videos that Ryan was in were very different than things that you're used to seeing on the channel now, so if you haven't seen these videos, these might be a little bit of a surprise to you. So the first video that we're looking at is called Chubby Kid vs. The Long Lost Jonas Brother. About four minutes ago, the Chubby Kid and the Long Lost Jonas Brother were hanging out, when all of a sudden, the ice cream man drove by. I'm sorry, but I can hear myself wearing my retainer why didn't I take them out when I did that voiceover? I guess I don't know what a retainer sounds like. I've never had one, so I didn't, I didn't notice. So there's Andrew. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Here's Ryan. That hair. And there's our friend John. <laughs> he was not supposed to be in this shot or this video at all. We thought that part where he runs out of the shot was so funny <laughs> that when we decided to make a second one and a third one, we literally brought him back to the set just to run away again. <laughs> There's a reason why he was there. In ninth grade, me, Andrew, and Austin, we had to do a group project with John. None of us really knew Anthony except for Austin. He was like, hey guys, let's just make a video about what the project was. Yeah. So I have a friend and it's led to him. So this is actually both Andrew and Ryan's first video on the channel. The project that we're doing right now is supposed to be King Arthur. Why are you doing this? Because I'm evil and you're the chosen one. That's a really nice story. You'll never get Excalibur! Oh, it's so stupid. <laughs> I can never live that line down. I have a better idea. All right, so the only reason that this turned into a lightsaber battle was because your teacher was a huge yeah. Star Wars fan. So you guys said, let's put this huge Star Wars fight in it just to get a better grade. <laughs> this was also the first part of your school projects that we filmed. And it was also the only part of your school project that we filmed before the due date. The part with the lightsabers was taking me so long to edit. We didn't even get to film anything else. You guys played it for your teacher and he was just like, what is this? Because he only saw this segment, which was not any part of the educational portion. You were like, this is just the preview. We promise the full thing will be done soon. Just please don't knock anything off of our grade. And because of the lightsabers, he was like, all right. But we thought that this segment alone was so cool that we just said, why don't we just post it to the channel and just let other people see it too. I choreographed all the fight scenes, by the way. I love the tripod in the background, <laughs> the scooter on the ground. Andrew is really taking those kicks. Well, that's what we put on the vest, right? Yeah. Oh, here it is. Somehow, it was a wooden dagger and a wooden shield. And my first throw, I threw it and it landed perfectly and it somehow stuck to the shield. I don't know how I did it. Oh, this part is so stupid. I, yeah, that, that is the most lame fight scene. Also, it gets better. the way that I just changed the color mid thing, I was like, oh yeah, it's gonna be sick if I change the color here. Anthony, what were you thinking? That looks so dumb. <laughs> but this part too, I, I remember Andrew, Andrew never lets me live that down that I, I tripped running up the slide. Oh yeah, that's what Andrew does. I love how quickly it gets dark too. Yeah. We didn't think, oh, let's film the rest of it another night. Oh, and then I switched <laughs> the color back. <laughs> and that punch was so fake. <laughs> Look at that blood. Which was literally like red marker. <laughs> Cause we didn't have real red liquid or anything. This part's cool. All that, that ridiculous cool. stuff leads up to this one cool part. <laughs> that's how it ends. There's nothing else to it. <laughs> Let's jump ship from the action for a second. We're gonna go into the first skit that me and Ryan made. Jacob is still here. Yeah, and your voice. I have read this book like seven times. Your hair. I know. Let's see what Ryan's doing. Is this still funny, actually? I remember you telling me. Oh my God, wait. I remember why we made this video now. Oh, I knew the whole time. It's based on because every time we tried to hang out with Andrew, yeah. he always would give us just a one word answer. Like we'd be like, wanna hang out? I'd be like, can't. Like we never knew if he was telling the truth. Was, is, and always has been a huge diva. He still is a diva to this day. Hey. Okay. <laughs> I love this. Right. Time. This is gonna sound crazy, but the scene is good. I'm exploding into what the made us think? right now, and I really elephants. need you to bring over as much toilet paper as you have. Bad timing. I'm 
I'm training my elephants. I know why we wanted to do elephants because it would sounds like a lie. Right. And we always thought like Andrew's yeah. like Andrew's like, yeah, I'm on my way to the moon right now. And we're like, no, you're not. But how funny would it be if we took that concept and flipped it and if he really was on his way to the moon and that's where that mm. joke I think came in. No, I'm not kidding. Just And that was real. Oh my god. We really <laughs> broke that thing. Okay. Move out. That time. I know. And the way that you actually move out of frame when the camera moves looks so good. Yeah. This part looks pretty good to you. Yeah, it did. Yeah, what's up? Rod guy, what you doing? I'm at war. You're at war? Yeah, I gotta go now. All right. I'm like always smile and everything. The helicopter shooting <laughs> missiles at you. What helicopter does that, first of all? The effect wasn't terrible. Me making, once again, ugly jokes about myself. Those yeah. have been since day one. Mm. Hey Ryan, you wanna hang out? Can't right now. I'm performing the big time rush. Performing the big time rush? Come on, man, really. If you're gonna make excuses, at least make them believable. No, seriously. I gotta go. I'm on. He's on? What, what does he mean he's on? Sometimes I just. Oh, oh, oh god! He said it wasn't that bad except for your hand keeps getting cut off. Um, and my coordination was not the best. That was really hard to do. What the fans don't know is that I was the long lost Jonas brother. I got kicked out of the Jonas brother, so I joined Big Time Rush. That right. is the, the lore of Occult of 35. Of course. And I believe that this ending was a representation of what happens when you finally do get Andrew to come over and hang out, right? Yeah. That's what this ending is here. Okay, yeah, come on in. It's about time you took uh, all day. Yeah. Whatever, I was I was busy, you know, training elephants and, you know, war these days. Alright, yeah, whatever, it's fine. Let's just get to the video. Alright, so what I was thinking that we do for today's video is we make it something about there's always that person no, I don't wanna play cards. There's always that one person who every time you try and film is always busy or very difficult. I like that you're you're like saying that and like we're being like very self aware. It's, yeah. Like that's that's the stuff that we still do yes. now. Yeah, we, we still, still do, do that. that stuff. Hey, uh, I was thinking you would play that. Matt, you would just be an extra. I was kind of thinking, <laughs> okay, are you even listening to me? Yeah, keep going. He would have it, so he keeps give, giving all these really ridiculous excuses. Okay, guys, really, you're not even paying attention to me. One, two, three. Oh my, pet rock collection. Um, yeah, I really don't feel like filming today. Are you kidding? I know this is kind of awkward, but... You know, I feel like so... <laughs> I love the way that Matt stomps away. Andrew used to do that too. He used to come over and say, yeah. I don't feel like filming today. He's he, still he... like difficult. I feel like this is pretty ironic that I was playing this character because I feel like I'm like, not to brag, but I, I think I'm one of the most productive when I come here. Yeah, like, yes. Like we, we just, we get it done. I mean, overall, it's not a bad video. It's not. There's so many good ideas throughout the channel of the past that were just like done. Not that great it was, because it was, it was just, back then. Yeah, it was just done before we knew what we were doing. We were a lot still, of times, we were kids. So the third video, we're gonna go back to the action days a little bit. We back in the day made a zombie series. We could probably never do something like this ever again unless I was like actually hiring actors and paying them to come over. Yeah, we're not popular. Which isn't really something that we're interested in doing at the moment. We kind of just want to use our friends as the actors. Gary and Anthony's just like, okay, so you're just gonna fight Andrew and Tom. And that's the whole video. And I was like, okay, what do I do? And he was like, I don't know. Just come up with something. And Okay. You were the choreography guy yeah. with, when it comes to fighting. I didn't, I don't know anything about that. The wind chimes make it so creepy. Now you teleport. Yep. That was always kind of weird. I don't know why we did that. Yeah. But I think it's, yeah, I don't know. I think I just needed to get closer to them without it being like kind of awkward. I love how we were like, oh, you can get up from your back. Just do that. It looks cool. <laughs> Like, you're not even like a zo- And that throw was real, too. Yeah, that was a real throw. Tom, like, smacked his face into the side of the pool. I don't know why I climbed up here. I just thought it was fun. That looks pretty good. Yeah. That kick would have looked a little better if it was closer, but it's not bad. And that looks pretty good, too. Here we go. This is this is my favorite part. I think this scene is so cool. This would have had way more of an emotional impact 
if the series was more than two episodes before this and they yeah. were more than a few minutes. I also think partially though, this series doesn't feel like Culture 35 though. Not at all. Not what we do now. I hate this part. I guess it's like OCD or something, but my my sweatshirt string that is <laughs> hanging over my arm, I don't know why no one told me to fix it, but it- Because it happened in the shot. Yeah, I guess we didn't want to we didn't want to ruin the shot because it was good, but it is anymore. Oh, it's getting worse. You know what, it's funny though, because it actually doesn't bother me because it was real and it like happened while you were fighting. Kind of just makes it feel more real. That's true. Good you know? Point. You've redeemed it a little bit for me. Um, But also this is ridiculous that Andrew just got shot in the back and it's now okay and he just gets up and shoots you. Yeah. And also that fake blood. The punch, that punch looked that good. That punch looked good and your fall was incredible. You looked yeah. like you lost. Like your I life like I actually died, yeah. Yeah. If you would like to see us do this again over here on the second channel, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe and tell me who you might want to see be a guest watch old videos with me because that could change the videos that we watch, you know, depending on who it is, it's gonna be videos that that person's in. Or you can just ask for me again. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment letting us know what you thought and subscribe for more videos coming soon. Don't forget to turn on notifications. You might not be notified when we post new videos if you don't click that little bell and follow us on Instagram at culture35 and on TikTok at realculture35 for some extra bonus content. That's about it. Thank you again for watching. We will see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye guys. I swear he doesn't breathe when he does that.